What if we found a fifth dimension? The laws of physics, the seemingly definite guidelines humans have created to try and fathom the mysteries of the sprawling universe we live in. But they might not be what we think they are, and our existence could well be structured differently. This is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, what if we found a fifth dimension? Are you a fiend for facts? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one and ring the bell for more fascinating content. We currently recognize at least partially four dimensions in the known universe, three spatial dimensions and one temporal. These are length, height, depth, and time. First, the easy bit. Imagine a straight line without any depth whatsoever. That's length. Add height and you turn it into a two-dimensional square. Throw in width to create depth and you have a 3D object. Everything around us that we can see and comprehend is 3D. All the furniture in your house, every human you know, the distant planets and stars in the sky. The fourth dimension is where things get tricky, because despite knowing what time is, humans can't really perceive it. At least not in the same way a fourth dimensional being would. Our 3D cube would be extended yet again to form a tesseract or hypercube in a 4D space. Sure, we can create representations of what we think a 4D tesseract would look like, but if one suddenly showed up in real life, we wouldn't be able to fully understand it. If we were actually 4D creatures, then when we looked in the tesseract, we'd be able to see its timeline, its whole life beginning to end in front of you all at once. Were we to look at something slightly more interesting, another human being for example, we'd see and comprehend their entire existence from birth to death like a long photo reel. So if understanding the fourth dimension is already fairly difficult, what does that mean for the fifth, the existence of which is contested? Partly we need the concept of a fifth dimension in order to solve many of the problems we currently have with the movement of time. If time flows at a rate of one second for every one second, as per standard clocks, it wouldn't actually go anywhere at all. So we need a new spatial dimension in order to measure the flow of time. That's 5D. To go back to our tesseract, if you took it into the fifth dimension, you'd now be able to see all the different possibilities for the Tesseract's life. Anything that has happened, will happen, or might happen, you'd see it all at once. With a human, you'd see every possibility for their life, along the infinite paths that that specific life could take. You'd see parallel worlds. With 5D capabilities, you'd be omniscient to some degree. You'd have full control over your own timelines, meaning you'd also have influence over all others, without the power to outright change them or alter history. Via 5D time travel, you could send information and messages backwards or forwards in time, communicating with future or past versions of yourself and indirectly with others. It would help us to understand our own futures, but also unravel some fundamental mysteries of the universe and accomplish an incomprehensible number of things. If we all lived in a fifth dimension, we'd be turning humanity's timeline as a whole into a circular ring of constant communication between every point in history. We'd be endlessly learning thanks to a collective effort across all generations. As such, a fifth dimension would shatter everything we think we know so far. Writing off the theory of general relativity as our understanding of time completely changes. Einstein's idea that nothing could travel faster than the speed of light in a vacuum would also be challenged, with 5D beings whizzing backwards and forwards between the past, present, and future. And if we break into the fifth dimension, an until now almost incomprehensible realm, who's to say we wouldn't unlock more dimensions after that? String theory says the universe is the manifestation of one single object, a long string of existence made up of photons and electrons all vibrating in different ways. If it's true, it turns the universe into an even greater unified body, made up of as many as 10 different dimensions. M-theory is similar to string theory, but it goes one further by adding an 11th dimension. And then there's the bosonic string theory, which suggests there are as many as 26 dimensions out there. Make it to the 10th dimension in string theory, or the 11th in M, and you are essentially a god. Not only can you see and visit any point in your particular timeline, as per 5D, but you basically are at every point in every timeline in the entire multiverse instantly. You understand the life of every one and thing that's ever existed in this universe, as well as you do everyone and thing that's ever existed in every infinite variation of this universe. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's the fifth dimension we need to master first. Unlock this comparatively humble plane and we'd still be able to travel through many, many worlds, moving all across our own personal timelines, 
and observing the infinite changes which make a difference in our many lives, big or small. In one world you got a different sandwich, in another JFK was never shot, in one lifetime you miss your bus, in another the Black Death never happened. If we occupied the fifth dimension, we'd be able to watch all of these different realities play out. It may currently be beyond the realm of human perception, but it'd grant us a higher understanding of our universe, ourselves, our planet, and time itself. And that's what would happen if we found a fifth dimension. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.